Luckily, nobody really gives a damn. This isn't like, uh, Banish- not Banish, Rimworld. Where, uh, people get cranky with you if they're living in cramped conditions. It's just this is kind of like weird society where they're just like, yeah, that's yeah, cool. I'll sleep in a dormitory with everybody else for like the rest of my life because that's how this game works. It's strange. Do I have a recon beacon? Yep, got two. Crazily enough. There we go. Ah, uh, that should be good enough. For a little while. Furniture containers, supplies, home, office miscellaneous. We'll leave that for a bit. Let's do shelves. Not shelves. Surfaces, end tables. Let's put a couple of these in here. We don't really need to. That seems like a, not a bad idea. Put a coffee and dining table. In. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Don't want to do that. Apparently, I can pick up the piece with everything on it. Was not expecting that. This table, aluminum dining table. A lot of tables in here. Some are better than others. Suffice to say. Let's go back for one of the basic, like, fold out, fold out a looking tables. That's too short. That one actually, this one looks like the table I actually currently have. This one looks ridiculous. Oh, but it costs aluminum. Can't do. Let's just do a pair of these. Uh, let's see. Is there anything like chairs here? Seats. There we go. Stools. Let's do basic chairs. That's missing its back. That's bad. Let's go with these. They look kind of nice. I don't know if the NPCs even give a shit if I give them these things. But, uh... I mean, whatever. At least it feels like something's going on with this town. As opposed to being just this, like, creepy place full of monolithic structures and not a whole lot else. Like, I, you know... Might as well decorate a little bit. What else do we got? Containers. Miscellaneous. Supplies. Home. Let's see if I can get like a big dresser or something. What's this? Changing table. Ugh. Curio. Sure, why not? No. Looks dumb. Dresser, dresser. Come on. There's like a big dresser. Guess, guess these will do. Not a whole lot to work with here. Unfortunately. Oh, that's fine. Anyway, uh, I wanted to do lights. Or, yes, power, lights, ceiling, table, all lights. I assume most of the, most if not all of these are going to be power related. Yep. However, floor and table lights. Some of these don't. I just gotta find them. Yeah, the candles work. Let's see if I got any lanterns I can build. Oh. A cage wall light. That's creepy. And requires power. Damn it. Where's that lantern? There's totally a lantern here earlier that I've completely lost. <laughs> I could put a mirror wall in. That'd be funny. Oh, there we go. Lantern. I have no oil. Ah, shit. I guess this is, this is the last light source I can possibly put in here. Well, I guess... hope they like uh, the darkness. No. Uh, I mean, we could, we could put, like, power in here. Something. We do still have several generators. <sighs> Alright. Um, let's see if I can increase the amount of food I've got. Let's go find Scrap Lady. Is she here? Because that guy's still working. I guess this is what I built the bell for. I'm just going to put them both on food for the time being. Because that's the one thing I'm, um, I'm lacking the most of, I think. Uh... Did they just not give a shit about the bell? 
So there's the guy. Maybe she's... Is she sleeping? Oh, there she is. That baseball cap makes her look really creepy. Anyway, we're gonna have her... Command... We'll also just have her farm. Okay. There we go. No, I don't want to store the melon in the workshop. So that should be good. Now we should have extra farming. More food. I just realized some of these plants are just hovering on the ground. I am kind of surprised. Oh, that's okay. We got plenty of water here. What's going on? Oh, right. I just want to trade a few things. Sure. I was going to trade him 10, 10 millimeter pistol and apparently one bullet will make them shoot forever. Awesome. Well, you have a gun now. Let's see. Next time we restart, if you want to try and never leave the town version, join Covenant and aim to take it over. I've never even heard of Covenant. Sounds fun. Anyway, uh, let's see. How much food do we have now? Nine. Hopefully that'll boost some things up. We got 14 beds, fair amount of power, fair amount of uh, defense needs some work. We'll work on that later, though. I mean, what we could do is supplant the, uh, the bridge that we have there with my own bridge. You know, make it, make, like, stairs go over it or something. And then put a bunch of traps there, but I, I don't actually know if that's a good idea. That seems kind of risky, and stupid, and weird. Actually, it looks really n nice along the way. I'm gonna quick save. Oh! Right, I have to force him to equip the pistol. You are correct. Blacksmith and Banished is 120. Like, years of age? That's... What? Alright. Can we trade a few things? Okay. Of course. So we want to have him equip it. There we go. Seems to be growing well. So we have a ton of melons. Like, my food is doing great here. Which is really nice. I'll plant some more just because experience. I'll probably just have this entire area covered in vegetables and people farming. Because, uh, I mean, it's a cheap and easy way for me to get experience. Eventually, we'll probably start replacing plants uh, for the time being. Oh, looks like we've got uh, another set of gourds. Okay. But yeah, I don't know. Re new ability is nice. At some point, uh, we'll get f we'll get planters, and then we can start doing a uh, like a tiered farm type deal. For the time being, can't do that though. All right, so food. Now, let's see. So corn. Luckily, the corn should fit back in here somewhere over the rainbow. Come on. Kind of wish I I really wish sometimes this game had like a grid snap system for everything. At other times, I wish it didn't have it at all. Okay. Yeah, we can put down a ton of gourds. At three experience per, it works. It's a little weird, but it works. Okay. And then we've also got melons. Fair amount of melons, too. Yeah, so we've capped out at 12 food. At some point, we'll get several more settlers, I hope. But until then, we're pretty much stuck with these two. Let's see. So we've got melons. There's nothing else I can plant on this. Right? I don't have any tatoes. Uh, let's see. Let's see. If Wander can get the resources, he does have the animal cages. He can catch bandits and various other things with them. Oh yeah, let's take a look at that. Uh, I haven't messed with cages yet. Small cages. 
Uh, so we can make a mole rat cage. A mutant hound cage. So what about medium cages? Feral ghoul cage, gunner cage, insect cage. Let's see what ones I can make. I'll only mention those. Large cages. Oh. We can get carrots. We can get rad stags. That could be good. Cages arena. Cages miscellaneous. You know what? Uh, we might as well put up, like, a mole rat cage outside. Mutant hound cage. Uh, yeah, I can't make the mutant hound cage yet. We need Brahmin meat to get that. I'm just reading out loud. But we can make a mole rat cage. Do they just, like... Do they just fall into the cages? Is that how this works? Do they just get, like, surprised? Do I just, like, walk out one morning? Okay, cages let you captivate, capture a variety of creatures and enemies. Only work when powered. They have a chance to catch something while you sleep or when you're away from your settlement. You usually catch something within a week or less. Once you've caught something in your cage, you can release it whenever you want by cutting power to the cage. Also, open if it's damaged. Keeping the captured creatures and enemies will increase the chance of your settlement being attacked. Some captured creatures are always tamed. Some are hostile unless you have a beta wave emitter turned on. Okay, cool. Well, here's what we're going to do. Seeing as we've got cages... Uh, they got plenty of rad roach meat. Copper, not so much, though. I'm going to make a bunch of these. Maybe right there. Um, we're gonna put a big old one of the big generators behind it. What I'm thinking is uh, what we can do use this to get me some experience. It's a little scary that we've got uh, an electrical cable going across the front, but um, let's see, nowhere to get some Brahmin meat. Yeah, the problem is I can't leave. Oh shit, there's some like crazy generators in here. What else is there? Windmill. Don't have any copper anymore. <laughs> oh, it's okay, we don't need that. Small fusion. We only have a little bit of nuclear material. And fusion generator. Yeah, the problem is we're going to need... A lot of stuff before we do that. Oh, wire one cage to the next. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Oh, it's too late now. I don't know if I can take the wire off either. Oh, I can store the wire in the workshop. Cool. Okay, so let's put this over here. What? Oh, oh. I'm also curious if my if I will get experience for the. Um... Yeah, there we go. Okay. There we go. So now we've got a couple of cages. This is kind of adorable, actually. Oh, I like this. Yeah, this will this will let me uh, hunt those guys. So here's the question. Do we have anything that um, cages? Do you have any cages that work off of mole rat me uh, meat? I want to see if I can... Um... Oh, cat cages. Brahmin meat, jet. Oh, jet. So if we can get some copper, uh, we can get insects and... Potentially raiders once we make some more jet. Uh, feral ghoul, but I don't want to mess with that. Red steg meat. 
Yeah, because carrots should be easy. Razor grain. Oh, let's see, arena contestant blue team. Oh, that's interesting. We'll leave that for, for later. Mole rat pets. Hell no! We're gonna kill them. I need experience badly because I can't. I can't leave this. Um. I can't leave this town. Oh, you know what? Does shit float down the river? I know if you dump stuff in the river, shit will float down, but I don't know if there's, like, randomized loot that will come down the river. That'd actually be a really cool mod along the way. But I doubt that sort of thing's gonna happen. Well, uh... I guess at this point, let's go back, let's rest a couple of times. Okay. Yeah, why can't I leave town? Oh, it's all voluntary. Like, this is, this is crazy town challenge time. Uh, because... It was suggested, and I thought it was cool. You know, trying trying to play Fallout in such a way that you never, ever leave town. Um, it's interesting to me. And with this new DLC, this actually is pretty possible. She's just broken and standing there. Alright, whatever. Let's just sleep for like three hours and see if we pick up anybody new while we're out. Still too... Still two people. Well, let's see what chems I can make. Maybe we have something easy that I can make. So drug, buff out. Uh, Braxo cleaner, blood leaf, and lead. Oh, jet. We'll make more of that. So, apparently if we can get a brahmin, uh, we can make, like, crazy drugs. We can also make psycho jet. We can actually sell this shit. Cool. Uh, Med X, refreshing beverage. Yeah. Wow. Okay, we're gonna make two of the one of these. I'm just gonna make stuff. This is, seems to be a pretty good way of getting experience. Uh, and clearing things out. Let's see, mines. No. There we go. Acid, glass, Med X, and a pencil. Yeah. So making drugs actually seems to have uh, some pretty good benefits here. All right, I can also make uh, I can also make ammo here. That's cool. We'll leave that for later. Okay. Uh, did we? So we can't make buff out anymore. Ah, we're out. We're out of a Braxo. We can make the psycho jet, but I want to save the jet so we can get uh, raiders. Yeah, jet and copper was what I needed. Yeah, so if we find a trader, we're great. What I might almost do is, I know where a trading post is, I might be able to sneak over there without being noticed. Which could be kind of cool. We can also make junk here. I don't know if we get experience, though. Bag of cement. Nope, that requires concrete. Yeah, so I don't think these work. So I'm not going to mess with the uh, junk crafter thing. Van Hohenheim. Oh yeah, it does kind of have a Hohen... I do have kind of a Hohenheim thing going on. Alright, so we can get insulated lining, but that's... Eh. I'm, I'm not even wearing that to begin with. Seems to be growing well. It's coming in pretty good. Easy living? This ain't. I mean, the nice thing is we're going to have a comical amount of uh, stuff to, like, basic food to sell, at the very least, if we ever attract a, tr uh, attract a trader. It's just getting one's going to be a nightmare. Let's grab one of the mole yeah. rat cages for copper. Oh, yeah, I could do that. Good night. Oh, uh, we'll get there later. Uh, I guess I'm just going to go sleep till... Oh, hey, the lights are on. Weird. Didn't mean to do that, but I guess it works. All right, let's sleep until morning. Uh, we want 10 hours? No, like eight. That'll put me at four-ish, give or take. I do definitely have the, what? Well, hi. God, I love 
of the rain in this game. Okay. I assume we are still sitting at a grand total of two people. There's not much I can do about that. Uh, let's go check the cages. Chances are we're not going to have a whole lot. But you never know. Because, yeah, uh, if, we can get, if we can start getting some mole rat meat. Why is there a light on in this? Oh, there's a lantern. Cool. I didn't realize we'd have a lantern in here. Unfortunately, I can't pick them up. Which kind of sucks. Because I want to relocate it. Well, whatever. I doubt we're going to have anybody coming in. At least keep one mole rat. Eh, I really like mole rats. Eventually we'll have Brahmins and dogs. But I don't think we're going to have a whole lot of mole rats here. Yeah, so we've got a fair amount of security. We've got a fair amount of everything. If we pull up the map, like, I really don't want to leave, but I know there's a trading post here-ish? It's like over here, somewhere. I just don't really want to go for it. But yeah, the bull rats are not going to be my friends. They're just going to be mean and nasty and whatever. So why don't we, um... Why don't we just sleep for a while? Uh, yeah, mole rats are automatically hostile. The cats and the dogs won't be, though. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't think there's a way of for me to, um... Did anybody else notice the building glowing purple? I think it's a texture issue. However, I do like the idea of... Uh... I, I like the idea of the just, like, super creepy haunted building over there. So I think I'm just gonna... Let's see, wire first. Oh. Wire first or you lose the copper for the wire. Interesting. Um. We don't have enough jet for the bandit ca cage, though. The bandit cage needs six jet. That's part of the reason why I'm not bothering here. Be cool to get a bandit. Uh, here. Let's move off. And we'll wrap meat. Yeah, we need six jet and two copper. We might be able to get an insect cage. But we don't need the meat. And I want to catch a Brahmin somewhere, but I don't know. Uh, but for the time being, we can only do mole rats. So let's just sleep for, like, a full 24 hours. At some point, somebody will show up. Uh, then we'll be good. I really wish there was a way to, to like, speed past this, unfortunately. I mean, we're effectively just sleeping in bed while my two people just farm, and they're like... The mayor's depressed, isn't he? And it's like, no, he's just lonely. Aren't we enough? No. <laughs> it's just kind of sad. Oh, hey, it's like October 29th. I wonder if there's actually, like, uh, winter weather in this game. That'd be pretty nuts. All right, let's see what I can harvest. Seems to be growing well. Let's Lost see. track of how many blisters I got. Gourds, uh, corn. Corn? No, no corn. Fortunately, there's no, like, indication... Hey. Go check that out. How do we... There we go. Press tab to get dog to not freak out. What the... Oh, he's sleeping in the single sleeping bag in there. Despite the... Despite the fact that I've got, uh... You know, whole beds in the other room. This is the one he wants to sleep in. Alright, fine. Alright. That is weird. Still no extra people there, right? Yeah, still two. Yeah, it's hard. We're waiting for a trader. No mole rats. We're waiting for a trader or a something to show up. And the problem is I don't want to just sit around all day, every day, just waiting. Uh, let's see what other, like, weird shit I can make. Okay, crafting. Ammunition workbench. Could be interesting. Uh, armor workbench. Armor smith workbench. Well, we can't do the armor workbench. Or the armor smith one. Which must be how you make stuff. Uh, chemistry station. Oh, we need local leader level 2 across the board for most of these. Junk workbench we've already done. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we can't make any workbenches. Stores. Trader. Yeah, like if we could... 
Oh, shit. I need to be local level, leader level 2 before I can even make a trading stand. Oh, dear God. Well, that's rough, because I think I need to be much higher level for that. I guess we should start leveling up like crazy. Because my other alternatives are pretty bleak. Because, yeah, I need local leader level 2 before I can make any of these... These times. Uh, these, these structures. Okay. So, resources. I mean, really what I should do is probably just go back to making the crazy tower of death and destruction. Floor coverings. Oh, hey, I can make, like, rugs and stuff. It's a steel floor mat. Weird. Huh. Funny. Well, let's go back to decorating this thing. Oh, shit, I can't. Well, can a little bit. I'm just going to build a bunch of those. Uh, we're still missing this section here. Okay, so let, let's go back to let's go back to making the like really insane uh, structure that we were working on. That's this one, right? Shack upper floor. There we go. Oh, we're running low on wood too. I could always I could always move it around or something. Well, I can always move it around. I can always scrap a bunch of things, but we're slowly going to dwindle in terms of resources. I guess I could drop, uh, chop down the rest of the, the trees that I've got lying around, too. Uh, let's see. So we've already done that. Oh, interesting. The second floor here causes a bit of a... I guess a collision issue. That's interesting. Anyway, let's go back to... I'm, I'm just going to make the Overseer's Tower. Just be super creepy. Uh, Like, honestly, this is one of the weirder things I've ever done. Of just, like, try and sandbox game out of... Uh, try and make a sandbox game out of a non-sandbox game. Like, they tried. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give Bethesda credit for this. They really did try to make, like, something kind of interesting here. But boy, does it just feel like busy work. Kind of like, uh... Actually, the World of Warcraft people, uh, with the, oh, what was it? It wasn't Legions, it was the most recent one. Uh, they have the, the, like, city man, or not city management, like, the garrison management stuff. I think it was actually called Garrisons. Um, those seemed really neat, but ultimately, not as fleshed out as, uh, it could have been. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, there is actually a height limit on this. We could get up there if I just built, like, staircases. Um, which is kind of a consideration. Yeah, Warlords of Draenor. There we go. Can I get a mod list later? Yep. There aren't many, actually. It's a pretty sparse setup. Oh, shoot. I'm just going to move this one over here for the time being. I totally forgot. We need another staircase. That's the one. Okay. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to do... Uh, I'm not even going to bother with walls for the time being. We're just going to make the uh, creepy tall thing. <sighs> I'm really surprised that we've actually gotten so few people showing up. Let's see, did I forget you used to work for Blizzard? I uh, didn't forget. Not at all. I didn't realize you'd finished by this point. Uh, I guess for reference, uh, you snake from a live audience. Uh, you apparently used to be, as opposed to was, or is, a hey, leveled up. Uh, a moderator for World of Warcraft, which is really cool. Probably. I actually have no idea how good of a job it is. But still, okay, so let's move this over. 
I forgot once again to save room for the next staircase. Wait, we want it right here. There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to keep building as high as I can build. Why won't it let me put this down anywhere? Do we need a do we need a wall now or if we hit the high cap? Huh, Treon apparently has better pay. That nap. Nope, we don't want to do that. But leaving workshop. What? Huh. I think this is the high cap. Let me take a look at this. Let's get up to the top. Yeah, outside the buildable, buildable area. So this is high as we can go. Well, that's funny. Not really what I was expecting, but that's fine. Okay, let's make some insane things. There we go, that's what I was looking for. What? Come on. Let me build a footbridge here. Why not? Guess I can't build a footbridge. Probably can't build a pier. Railing? Can I build a railing? Ah, I can build a railing on this. That's cool. Kind of railings can ooh, ooh. It's not a bad railing. Shack bridge. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna put railings up on this on this level. Uh they're cheap, easy to make, decent experience, and if somebody attacks, I have my uh, sniping post that I can hide slash shoot from. Let's get up here. Can I make uh no, I can't make anything. I see why that works. Uh it's because the staircase originates at the base. That's why that's a thing. Okay, nice little railing set up. Now what I was thinking is if I can't make a bridge Normally, let's make a dumb bri bridge. Save before I fall to my doom. That is a very good point. Duh. <laughs> oh, it almost happened. That would have been really sad. Let's see, yeah. So I've got my two in indentured servants. This is a really sad little town, by the way. Um, I, I, like, I keep looking across the bridge for signs that, um... For signs that somebody's walking down the road to come join me. Uh, it's not happening. Anyway. Whee! <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright. Uh, step back from that ledge, my friend. Um... Wow, that was great. I guess we might as well put uh, walls on the rest of this. We've already got a sniper <laughs> tower vent Bunsenheim. Yeah. Oh man, that was that was silly. I love that. All right, let's go back to walls. So it should be up here somewhere. Shack wall. There we go. Oh shit, I'm about to run out of wood. Well. Fine. I'll make it work. We can always cut down some more trees. Put some people on scavenging duty, though I don't know if that gets me wood, necessarily. Concerning. The funniest part, I think, is, uh... I think we've got, like... A whole floor that is not 
Wall. Yeah, this is... Alright, let's go Let's go down. I want to just show what this looks like. Because this looks silly. <laughs> wow. That is comical. Alright, well, seeing as I don't have any other choices, let's cut down some trees. Oh, that's actually worth a lot of wood. Eh, I'll make it work. I don't know if these... Uh, I don't know if these come back ever, but we don't have a choice. Luckily, this will uh, replenish a lot of our stocks. Really liking whatever added these proper wooden parts. Yeah! I really wish there was a mod that actually, like, properly retextured the houses to look... You know what? There probably is a mod. If somebody can find me a, mo uh, a mod that resets the houses, the, like, busted up houses to look like they did, uh, pre-apocalypse, that would be great. Because I absolutely would load that up and use them. Um, instead of just sitting around with, like, just the shittiest, uh, shittiest houses. Because they just, they don't look good. And, like, if if I were in charge of uh, managing this area, I would, number one thing, probably fix up the houses. So people live in them. I wouldn't make these, like, dumb shit shacks like that thing. Like, why the hell would I make that when I have these buildings that I could totally just repanel and paint and whatnot? I mean, we've already proven that I have the resources to make an anti-gravity tower. Which is stupid, but, I mean, whatever. We've used a lot of wood. Luckily, there's a fair amount around. Ish. Also really wish there was a mod that would, um... Partially regrow, like, leaves on trees, because I probably wouldn't chop them down along the way. Yeah. No, I, I do feel like Bethesda is too, um, too enamored with the idea of the apocalypse to actually make things look nice. Which is a shame, because, like... These trees, okay, a lot of these trees would probably be dead and gone by this point. You know, nuclear apocalypse happens, all the trees die. Uh, then you have a bunch of new ones probably regrown their place. You know, maybe they're freaky and mutant trees, but whatever. But it, it bothers me a little bit that, you know, you can go so long uh, without nature, like with nature only partially growing back, kind of at Bethesda's convenience. It's weird, and I don't like it that much. Anyway, I think we've completely restocked. Oh, oh, shit, what was that? What did I just get rid of? I have no idea. Well, it wasn't one of the fences that we needed, so I guess we're okay. There's a mod to replace the broken sanctuary bridge with the pre-war one. Hey! Alright, I'll definitely take a look at that. Oh, these are like roots. I gotcha. Also, funny man, since you're in chat... Uh, for once. Did you see that I've put up a couple videos on Startopia? Uh, because you sponsored it, but you're only around here occasionally, so it's hard for me to plan on. So it's easier for me to just direct you towards YouTube. Also, I need to figure out how to contact you whenever we do choosing on, on series like this. Because. Seriously, still only two people. This is silly. Oh, we've pretty much deforested the town. I'll, ha I'll have to look for other things. Uh, Mod-wise. To kind of replace in here. Because obviously the more, the more mods we can cram into this session, probably the happier this is going to be. And it's kind of fun. Okay. Ah, uh, no, those trees are outside my- What?! Ow. What? No, oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, God damn it. I hit no. Oh, God. Cannot sleep while taking radiation damage. Fuck. Can I be in here? There's got to be, like, a, a way to avoid a radiation storm. How do we how do we avoid radiation damage from one of these? Because I can just see that 
that uh, meter just climbing. I've got one thing that'll get rid of it. But I don't think that's what we need. Uh, let's do f furniture. Furniture, not beds, not structures, containers, nothing. What about miscellaneous? Campfire. Campfire, campfire, campfire. Protection pod. I need... Oh, Protectron pod. That's not what we're looking for. Okay. Oh, you're dead if you if you don't cheat or go into that basement. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. The basement's over there. All right. You know what? I've got I've got something new I can build. Special. All right. Backyard bomb sh shelter. Cellar workshop. Basement bunker. I'll just put a basement bunker right here. Okay. And there we go. This is a mod. But I can make a uh, little little basement -y place. It's cool. It's also filled with resources. I can technically use this to cheese things. Uh, and like generate resources that I normally wouldn't have. Uh, which is a little bit broken. And I'm gonna kind of avoid grabbing these. We already, we already did it, but whatever. Yeah, you can't sleep during a rad storm. I tried. Oh yeah. The last time I think we had one of these, it was, um... Let's see, the, the last time we had a, a radiation storm like this, uh, I just left the area. But, since we're shackled to this zone, we can't. Luckily, we've got this dumb little shelter, so let's stick my head out and see if it's done. Otherwise, we'll just wait a full 24 hours. Luckily, I don't think my, um... Well, I'm not hearing the clickety-click-click. Alright, we're done. Cool. That sucked. Okay. I think the last time I just slept or laughed or... I don't know what I did to avoid the radiation storm last time, but it sucked. I mean, it's very obvious this was not built for me. Okay, watch both of my people be dead. Nope, they're still there. They're still alive. So yeah, we've got uh, basement bunker, cellar workshop, emergency shelter, fallout shelter. Interrogation cave, military bunker epsilon, root cellar, sewer garage, storage warehouse. So yeah, uh, these are just clone zones of what we already have available. <laughs> the skeleton freaked me out for a second. Oh, is this a candle in the window? Nope, nope, that's just a thing. Okay. I guess barring everything else, let's go grab our vegetables. They've all grown. Seems to be growing well. But yeah, I think I think I we're entirely just someone to this. Easy living. This ain't. I think we're just entirely tied to our base, waiting for another person to show trouble, up. I hope. Like we were desperate for a traitor, but there's no guarantees when they're gonna come. Oh yeah, let's go check the mole rats. So, let's go see if we have any mole rats hanging out. I'm like crazy irradiated, but whatever. That goes away eventually, right? Actually, I actually have no idea. I don't think so. At least I got a gun. Oh, hey! Not only do we have one, we have multiple. Well, we could go with the insane version. Oh god. Oh god. I- everything- everything is bad move. Did they break it for good? Oh god. Well, rat prove, mother! Rabid mole rats, mole rat brood, brood mothers. It's all scary. He's dying. My dog is in trouble. I'm in trouble! Alright, there's- there's one.
Note to self, consider depowering them. Uh... Okay, are you just busted? Does this come back? God, I hope it does. The item is too heavy to carry. Oh god. Alright. That didn't work. Damaged. Can't produce their resources until they're repaired. How do we repair? Alright. Well, that sucked. So I can't repair that. So that's busted until we can get some more stuff. 